showtime. It's time to get this show started. Party Good morning, star. every way. Party started, I guess. 74 degrees out there. I'll tell you more about the weather in just a moment. But he's ready. He's been bottled up for over a week. <laughs> that scares me so. <laughs> it ain't, hey, I'll just put it this way. It ain't been all that pleasant, but we are back in action. Good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. This is Athens in the AM on a live edition of the world's most popular, longest running morning show, soon to be totally sponsored by Country Financial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Uh, oh, by the way, happy birthday, Joseph. Yes, thank you, sir. Thank yeah. you. Thank I can swear I thought you was about 59. No, he's a young 49. Yeah, yeah. sure he is. Don't Saying I'm catching up with you. Uh, <laughs> Don't. What is that in that? You know. Some space age movie. I'm catching up with you. You might be. Uh, well, next year you'll join the 50 Club. Yes. That's Maybe true. This time you'll be halfway to Disney World. Yes, sir. In that minivan. <laughs> <laughs> he does not drive. I do a not have a minivan. minivan. Joseph said, "David drives." No, a minivan. he did not. Huh? <laughs> anyway, you think I'll forget the other We are. Yes, back in action, Zach. It's well, getting bad news from Bama, ain't it? Hey, what is us with us and linebackers? It's just like that is weird, jinxed with linebackers. One gets kicked off, which that was a big loss until the next day when we lose one of our stud, Terrell Lewis. So that's uh, that's, that's really going to hurt because he's our best pass rusher. All right, and we'll talk about a, a half-page article in USA Today in just a moment, too, about Paul Feinbaum. Is he leaving? I don't think he's Well, not. that's what the article states, that it is really? possible that nah, he that. They, they, he said Wait a minute, he, wait a minute. Is, is Coach Skipworth going to be here tomorrow? Co I he's, think so. he's the, If he's here tomorrow... We'll get an insight. We'll talk about it. But, but let me tell you, they said, he said he wasn't going to be at media days if he didn't have a new contract. He told them Monday on Jock's radio, I will be at media days. You know so. what I heard on Five Mom oh. yesterday? I heard a the S word. word that they didn't cut out from a caller. Yes, really? they did. That's a. Uh, uh, they get fine. That's, yeah, that's, uh, you would think. I, I, I rewound it and recorded it just to make Hey, well, there is a bunch of crazies on. Hey, and oh. Skipworth, he gets a lot of threats on there too. Hey, somebody told me that there was a caller called after Skipworth last week. That man just tore him up. Yeah, yeah. Greg's not a popular person on the radio. <laughs> we'll talk to him tomorrow. Let's get back to me right now because I am a popular. <laughs> You are very This popular. portion of the show brought to you by Hometown Market. Five locations, one near you. Go by and visit with them. Amy was going to be up here cooking today, but she's going to make it back tomorrow. All right, let me just go ahead and get down the way right now where we can say. I can't do it. Let's go to the weather right now. Sponsored by. <laughs> Sponsored by. SafeWithGloria.com. 74 degrees out there right now, though. I'll tell you more about that in just a moment. We do have rain in the forecast. We've got about 40% chance today. Actually, there's a good 30 to 60% chance of rain every day uh, for this whole week. No, say that. High temperatures today of 90, tomorrow 91. These are those scattered thunderstorms or pop up. Pop up rain, so you know it's going to be a hit or miss thing. Don't mm. let that forecast right there scare you to get get outside and enjoy <clears throat> some time outside, and hopefully not just a downpour all day long. Don't so wait that's me, a start good thing crying. too. Stop! I have something in my eye, my finger. Four days. <laughs> all right. Well, what's going don't on? Bring it up. What yeah, be quiet. <laughs> oh, there it is, right there. This Hot, is the yeah. deal. That's it. Save with Gloria. We've been working on this for a long time. Came through about three months ago. Mm -hmm. So anyway, if you want to finance. Refinance. Refinance. These people do a ton loans. of business all over the United States, out of mm -hmm. Bridge Street. Home we are Lindos. proud to be partners with them. This is Gloria's deal here because I'm about to get shed over here on the show. You are not. <laughs> We'll get ready. You need a uh -huh. new co-host. Yeah. So, Joseph, how was your hey, birthday? I'll get, I'll I, got sleep a, I think we got a picture of your birthday party last night. Oh, you do? Oh, do we? I don't uh, know. Do or not? Yeah, it's not, not, it's not a doctored up one, is it? No. <laughs> no. I didn't have time to doctor. Brad, we got a photo of Joseph. Yeah. Well, there it is. No, there, there it is. is. They surprised me. Where are you? Me. So, Chris, this Hunt Club. <laughs> where are you? Well, they were teasing me. Somebody said, all we can see is your big head. And I'm like, <laughs> Oh, I don't know. It was the Gunnels and the That's Odoms a good and the Hollises that is a good and uh, Bobby Sharp. Yeah, we had a good hey, time last night. Selfies. The yeah, whole That's a good one. selfie. That's uh, a good selfie. 
I appreciate them doing that. The only that. good one I ever shot was when I did that commercial mm -hmm. with Dr. Coleman. I'm laying there getting my teeth done. That, that was pretty funny. good. I believe you shot that, that on your own. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. So, David, how are you, I man? I'm doing great. great. Yeah. I'm glad to be here. Well, he's going to Disney yeah, World. Going, how can I'm, he be bad? I'm, I'm facing a vacation, so yeah, I'm, really, I'm really good. He's <laughs> a bright shirt, man. This is country green, you know. Have you been to Disney World <laughs> like before? It. Uh, it's been so long Let ago that might as well just say this is going to be my first time. Do not wear shoes. those shoes. No, 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 no. I got some tennis shoes. I got, I got some nice Nikes. I had to Nikes. buy a pair of socks down there because I was blistering my feet so much. Don't ever buy a new pair of shoes to go to Disney World. Oh. Well, no, I mean, I got some. That are broken. Yeah, that, yeah. Try oh, yeah, because we're going to, I know we're going to be walking a lot. Yeah, lots of you walking. Know. <laughs> yeah. You'll be walking a ton. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, anyway, That's let's good. go to Zach right now. He's fired up. Brought to you by KFC. Zach, he is a chicken man. Welcome to ZTV 11 Sports, brought to you by KFC, the best fried chicken in Athens and Limestone County. And Gloria's talking rain. I'm scared, sure you scared my mama, because yard sale time again, Friday and Saturday, 103 Hammond Street. So Zach, go. ask your mama. I've got a bunch of stuff that I need to get rid of. Can I send it to her house? You better let me come over and go picking. <laughs> well, look in the back of the Hummer. It's loaded down. Uh, I will let you talk to my mama. She's watching uh, right now. So, mama, right. I'm not. Uh, can't help you. She's already got a ton of underwear. You might she be might be able to add a few things to your yard. <laughs> <Okay. your laughs> <yard. laughs> I uh, want to give a shout out and hope hope they're doing better. I know a lot of people heard about the Tanner guys and and also CJ Yarborough, former Tanner guy who who just transferred to East Limestone. Uh, he had his skin graft uh, Monday and he got to actually come home. Yesterday, but they got a long ways to go. The other three second, boys. I think some of them were second degree, and maybe one of them was actually third degree yeah. burns. So oh, they're just thankful. So just thank. If anybody saw pictures of the car, they're just lucky to be yeah. be here they with are. us. So, hmm. <clears throat> excuse me. So keep praying for those guys. Keep them in thoughts and prayers. Alabama Monday. We everybody kind of knew v Vendarius Cowan was on thin ice. He got in a fight at a bar over the weekend. His grades were bad, so. He was kicked off the team, which we didn't think that would be a big loss until the next day when we find out Terrell Lewis, who is our probably our best pass rusher, will be don't tell it out indefinitely with a torn ACL. He had surgery yesterday, mm -hmm. so major loss and another lot. You know, there's two more linebackers right there, either gone permanently or gone most of the year for Alabama. Well, that's just giving everybody else a chance. Yeah, yeah, that's right. what it's going to happen. Today. Auburn picked up a four-star linebacker. Yeah, that's right. So everybody's yeah, we'll probably get him for it's over. How many, how many times have we heard we're just lined up and stacked and stacked? Yeah, and well, stacked. they're going to have to be. Uh, NFL well, Player Association filed a grievance with the league on Tuesday <laughs> challenge in its National Anthem does. Policy Union says that the new policy is inconsistent with collective bargaining agreement, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, Zach, we don't need so to So we got a grievance on that. <laughs> UNA to play Gonzaga. Well, that's pretty big when you're playing a top 10 team. So UNA men's basketball team will be going out to Spokane, Washington, December 28th to play Gonzaga. So that's a real big deal for them. I didn't know that's where it was. Hey, article on AL.com about the delicate that dance is. about the quarterbacks uh, at Alabama. And, like and like I said, right now with Tua and Mac Jones. But said A.J. McCowan is the highest rated quarterback to finish Zach, is that his career you do under Nick Saban. Just look down and read. You never throw anybody up. And He's used to being on radio. Room, you know. Well, I, I guess some guys are all the same, man. This television. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm just, I guess I'm just the radio guy doing TV. Yeah. Hey, he has a face for radio. <laughs> I got a different face for radio. And hey, the Braves, man, they, they, when they went on that road trip, man, it, it started out good, but now they're a bunch of losers. They fell out of first place. <laughs> Six to two. So come on, Braves, get better, make some trades, and get bunch better. Losers. That... Jamie, back to you. Hey, David. You wore the perfect shirt today for my demonstration. Oh, boy. Oh, now, you know, the other day, you were up well, here last week when Ken Garner was up here and we came up with that. You know what Joseph does for a living? Yeah, he said uh, he's like a scientist or something. Yeah, he's like, a chemist. Like, chemist. Yeah, You're chemist. Yeah. He turns, he's smart. No, he gets smart. No, kids, Thank you, baby. You never go thirsty with him. He turns urine into water. I mean, yeah, I remember you water. telling me that. You know, the other day when we were up here, we came up with our... No, we didn't no, do anything. We got no, we didn't. We got you a, did. We got a drink now. <laughs> And I got the official name for it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here's the name of it right here. Oh, it's even on Me screen. Me P2. Me P2. <laughs> so here, here's our first actual book. <laughs> Y'all bottled it. That's See, we, we got a barcode on it. Tell you what, take a Me, big swig of it. <laughs> yeah, I knew you would. Me P2. <laughs> oh, Jamie. So is it an energy say. drink? <laughs> 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 
Yes, I am. Yeah, good. <laughs> Yum, yum. No, thank you. Oh, okay. well, I, want it, I want it sponsored by Country Finance because it's y'all's colors. Oh, let me try it. Hey, that's a good idea. Me, me too. You going to drink after him? <laughs> no, I'm yeah. just joking. Uh, Stop it. I don't want it to mess my coffee. Lots of electrolytes <laughs> what in that, right? What do you think right? they're making coffee Man, with? This, is, this, right here is, this right here is some good stuff. Hey, Todd, there's a camera right there. <laughs> good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, me, PT, how you like that name, Joseph? I like it. So it's now, about the color of this. It's marketable. Well, here's the way we're going to yeah. make it. Y'all need to be drinking more we're water. Gonna, Joseph's going to bring us some of those browns to pee in. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Carboys. Yeah, what are they? Carboys. Okay. <laughs> That's what they're called. So every day, Todd and everybody, instead of taking a whiz outside, we just start doing that. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and, go, and go from there. I, See what y'all learned watching this program? I've been... Hey, yeah. what are you doing? Everything is uh, recyclable <laughs> I, I just, now. I'm just reading the story. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll you lost on. Zach a long time we'll ago. He's like, hey, yeah, I'm out of here. All right, hey, we'll come back and play a <laughs> oh version of Judge Jamie this morning. Woo! Can't Man, play. that MP. Uh, Lucky. Me, P2. Good. <laughs> me, P2. <too. laughs> uh, <laughs> Y'all, hang on. <laughs> I was reading about that lead. And now it's time to play Back in Action, Judge Jamie with the Cooper Court, sponsored by our good friend Zeke. We need to get him up here. Yes, yeah, we do. I've been Because I can't to hear nothing. Can you uh, hear me now? He's really you can't hear no, nothing. We are worldwide this morning. I am back in action, feeling almost fantastic. Ain't you tired to box? legs watch you from the beach. We tried to flex? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boys, in case y'all forgot, my wrong answer. <laughs> right answer. Here we go. First question is, what is the newest store opening in Limestone <laughs> County? Dollar. Who says a dollar? Don't buy much anymore. Dollar. Seven dollar three. general? Another dollar general. Dollar, dollar general. <laughs> right answer. Need one more. Another. One yeah, spring. We don't have enough of them. Willie's How many truck. does this make? 17. 17. Oh, yeah, I was going to say like 30. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Should have bought stock Willie's in there about right. five Zach, what is their slogan? They're, They're everywhere. everywhere. Who yeah. says a dollar? Don't buy much anymore. You always get your dollars worth at the dollar general store. <laughs> I didn't know they had one. I didn't either. <laughs> I didn't know they had a jingle. I didn't they either. They. Yeah, they used to play that. That's right, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Decatur Daily this morning from Town Creek, Alabama. What is the YKN Lounge? <laughs> YKN. I have no idea. Your neighborhood? It's I don't know. It would, if it well, first be. of all, Lawrence County is a dry county. Oh, okay. Uh, well, maybe it's a bootlegger place. That is the right answer. <laughs> Night Club. Where is it Your located? Well. What kind of building is it in? It was raided. An old church. A church? <laughs> Fire station. It is in a renovated double wide. Uh, ah. They arrested two guys as they tried to bolt out the back. Prohibited liquor for resale. Third degree escape and he attempting to elude. Plus, marijuana was there also. But amazingly, this uh, too was part of it. Exotic dancers. No. But here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. Oh, there's more. They advertised it. There we go. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Not bootlegging very much. Yeah, they probably did Facebook. Don't think they too bright. They had renovated the back part of a double wide and had all that going on there. Wow. Had a party going on. That's the kind of thing that you need to have a black op. Not a song, but you don't have railroad queen of the. Double wide. Queen of my double wide. Uh, Confederate Railroad. Oh, yeah. You know that one, Zach? Well, the yeah. hottest temperature ever recorded in Alabama was in Centerville, Alabama, September 5th, 1925. Oh. What was the temperature? 115. 122. Let's have it, Zach. 112 degrees. 112 <clears throat> degrees. Mm. All right, you know, they say, I've never been on the USS Battleship down in Mobile, but I've been wanting to go. I'm sure y'all probably have been. Yeah, we've been. It's, it's been. worth it, doesn't it? Pretty cool. It is good. <laughs> How did, you know, that was in 1964. What okay. record does that ship hold today? The longest ship afloat? No. Hmm. It was a 5,600 mile voyage to get it to where it is today. It began in July 1964. It remains the largest non-military dead weight tow in American history. 
Y'all know that? Uh, How did they uh, raise money for it? This, that's the number one thing. How did they raise money for that ship? Got personal donations. Mm. School children in the state of Alabama raised really? money for that crowdfunding mm. source. 900,000 school age kids raised money wow. to get that. That's pretty Before good. social that's media. Yeah, yeah, really. That's, that's really good. That Alabama football. Let's talk about it a little bit, Zach. Hey, you can go. You breaking news. Hey, you can go David Turner and he'll give you a magnet uh, with the schedule. Yeah, Alabama really. Auburn. Yeah, Auburn. Auburn. I even got some Auburn ones. Yeah, I gave them. Amen. So, hey, I was, I was looking over the schedule. In the <laughs> AL.com, they've got a list of a bunch of guys who make 10 million or more from Alabama in the NFL. Who would be number one? Julio Jones. No, he's number two, but that's a good answer. Okay. <laughs> CJ Mosley. Who? Ruben Foster is what he's saying. CJ Mosley. Oh, I forgot about him. Mm. Marcel yeah. makes more. Darius oh. makes almost $69 million. Wow. Great. Pretty decent. 69 really? million. Come to Alabama, you make it come to me. How much <laughs> money did Trent Richardson get? Four million. <laughs> yeah, he don't have million. anything now. He probably Eighteen million. million. Yeah, he probably don't even have anything. His, this, this in USA Today this morning, all you people playing at home, y'all probably sick of these too. How many robocalls <laughs> were made in America <laughs> oh the month of June? Too many. 1.8 billion. 1.8 billion. How many of them were truthful? Yeah, really. Yeah. Actually, it was <laughs> 4.1 billion wow. calls wow. in June million. alone. More than Most of them wow. seeking money. Hey, they, it says, yeah, 40% raised. They have increased. I mean, I've had oh, way yeah. more this you year. Can't block ever it. it used to, I did, you didn't get them on your cell phone. Mm -hmm. Now yeah, they're all yeah, constant. Yeah, I get them from on a local phone. number. That's what yeah. Yeah, makes that's me mad. Exactly. I'm tired of getting If you try to block that yeah. number, they just, they just have another right, number. Another number. Thanks for bringing that up, Jamie. USA Today. Birds don't eat like a bird when it comes to bugs. Here we go right here. Birds in the world ate how many insects last year? Oh, goodness. How do they know this? Really? Yeah, exactly. I mean, <laughs> bird special. That's why I know it. I mean, how do they, how do they research that? Exactly. 450 million tons of meat and fish were eaten last year by birds. birds. No, by people. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I thought that's a lot of money. Yeah, that's what you say. What, what, no, no, birds, birds, birds. I didn't know we, there was that many birds in the world. We're in they ate last year 550 million tons of insects per year. So they yeah. ate more yeah. insects per way. That works than out to meat. that. You know how many individual bugs that works out to? Now, some of you people playing at home may know that 20 season. quadrillion in individual bugs. Quadrillion. They don't know. How do they know how, exactly. that? Exactly. How do they? They got somebody that counts bugs. They did some major <laughs> extrapolation. Uh, only Zach. Somebody's sitting there counting all Only Zach thing. will know the answer to this next question. All right. Uh, what four teams made it to the World Championship Soccer? <laughs> world <laughs> Finals. Croatia and uh, England. Belgium. France and Belgium. That is very good. I didn't think y'all knew that. I would have got Belgium. Thanks, David. I didn't think you liked football. Who won? I don't. Who won last night one to nothing? England. It wasn't I bet that was a nail biter. Yeah, really. It wasn't the brand. They're all one to nothing. That's about what they all are. One to, one oh, really? to nothing. Sorry, all France the knocked fans. off Belgium to oh, reach the goodness. World Cup finals. Hey, I forgot. Oh, four Braves I've made all star teams. So that was big news for the Cristiano, 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 Cristiano Ronaldo <laughs> just left and signed a new deal for how much? A hundred. I, I didn't even know who the guy is. Real Madrid to somebody else. He left them. Um, Ten. One hundred and seventeen million dollars for four years. Goodness gracious! That is, is that more than LeBron's ridiculous. making. Wow. Yeah, I LeBron's think it is. LeBron's making fifty-four. Making 54 oh yeah, since we've been gone, LeBron James signed with the Lakers while, while we were away. One hundred and fifty-four million. Now we'll go down to. No, nah, his deal's like thirty. Hard question. It's like thirty-five, thirty-six million a year for four years. Yeah. One hundred and fifty-four for four years. Joseph, being the movie man that you are, and okay. you folks playing at home may know the answer to this next question here on Judge Jamie. Mm -hmm. Why is Scarlett Johansson? Johansson. 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 Getting backlash for her new movie that she's producing. And the name of the movie is Rub and Tug. Is Rub that and the Tug. Name of it? Too Rub much. Rub and Tug. Uh, Too much sex scenes. 
Uh, What's the deal, Todd? <laughs> hey, they didn't ahead. put Joseph, Scott, and Kill Abernathy in the movie. Oh, yeah, they didn't yeah. be in this yeah. movie. <laughs> Joseph and Kill. Go, Homosexuality? Yeah. I'll let you have that. That's close She's playing the trans in this. Oh. And, oh, my goodness. And the trans people who are really trans are, are complaining because they didn't get the part. Well, what part of an actor or yeah. actress don't they real understand? Trans didn't. No, I don't want to see Joseph Kell or no, Dean. No, I ain't going to be in that. <laughs> <laughs> Who got engaged over the weekend? Oh, Justin Bieber. Ah, oh, good answer to who? Some uh, girl that doesn't like to smile. It was somebody's daughter. Let's see. <laughs> somebody's daughter. That's a good one. Somebody's daughter. You know, that's a good answer, Todd. Uh, so that's that's just the so Haley, Haley Baldwin. Yeah, Haley Baldwin's, Haley Baldwin's daughter. daughter. No, that's his niece. Oh, oh that's his niece. Man. Okay. No, you stuff. Before you <laughs> Is that just a beaver on the right? Uh huh. Huh? Yeah. Well, he looks different. Yes, yeah, he, he does. does. Big old lock on her hand, though. Mm -hmm. I wanted, this is what I wanted to do when I died, but somebody beat me to it. I wanted Gloria to prop me up. I heard about this. I, the I saw that, man. To prop I didn't me see it. up. At I told him that one. Have you seen it? Uh-uh. What? Look at, that, look at the picture. He doesn't uh, want to be in a coffin. He this guy sitting in a chair. got shot walking his dog. Come he on. was a Celtic fan. They put shoes and socks and everything on him. Playing a video game. Playing a video game and <laughs> put his favorite Doritos. snacks in his hand. Yeah, got Doritos over that's there. That's creepy. Isn't that creepy? Somebody beat me to it. But if, if, if you, you went to the funeral home, home, that's what it was. That's Country Rovers. Extreme bond in bond. I think I'll be dragging, watching Country Rovers. I mean, did they just leave him there forever? No. For viewing? No, no, no. <laughs> that was at the funeral home. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, man. That's at the funeral home. Yeah, that's at the funeral No, I'm sorry. That's one at a time. They did that to the stage. I don't like that. One at a time. I think people should remember somebody that's laying there. Show them as in their, you know, activities, what they were doing. So, okay, so let's say that when I die, Carissa has me involved, and I'm at the wheel of a 69 Mach 1 Candy Apple Red Mustang. And they'll bury you in it. And they have revving up. Damn, that'd be sounds. awesome. All right. See that? <laughs> Let me get right. to my last question here. I, I really don't want to think about that, just to be Do honest you know <laughs> that every one of y'all are super wealthy, I basic, don't even, according either. to a survey says. I wish I'd know where you found Who in this room has an iPhone? I don't. I do. Android. Zach, did you know that you appear to be very wealthy? Just because I got this phone don't mean I'm wealthy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Top ten items. Number one to appear to be rich is an iPhone. So? What would be number two? <laughs> iPad. iPad. Hey, I got, I, I got one of both. Well, point. I'm still point. Nine. Nine. IPad. Oh, the big number three. IPad. Okay, there's your iPhone and You're your very iPad well right A now. Samsung TV. Oh, I got an LG. I have a Samsung TV. Yeah, got yeah you got a Samsung. Samsung. I think I LG's two. better. Yeah. Not according to the survey. <laughs> well, who they survey? Yes, but here's number four. <laughs> what kind of soy sauce do you oh, have man. in your refrigerator? Kiko, soy. Kiko Man. Yeah, yeah Kiko what? Man. Yeah, that's right. Kiko, yeah, Kiko the, Man. That what you Kiko got? Man yeah. or whatever. All right. Oh, that's that's where we pantry. drop off the list. What do I have in my refrigerator, Brad? Great value. Great value. <laughs> <laughs> Less sodium. Yeah, uh -huh. you know, I like that. Well, I'll for the good, stuff, yeah. for the <laughs> space stuff. And they also stuff. have Land of Lakes butter. I got that in my refrigerator. We've got that too. Yep. Yeah. Carissa likes We it. only use it every now and then, though. Cascade Complete Dishwashing Liquid. Yep. Nah, we, we use, use those, those little pods. Yeah, yeah, but it's Cascade, though. And the tenth okay. one, Ziploc bags. Oh, yeah. Got to have those, man. Yeah. I got Red, the big ones, the little ones. We fell off the list. Best money. choice from hometown market. Hey, let me tell you. Oh no, I got to go with the glad, the, the one, the oh, really thanks. good ones that they, they seal. I, I'm. I hate Saran wrap. That's because you drive oh, a minivan. Yeah, 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 I, I hate hear that stuff. That's like Heinz ketchup. You know, it, you can't beat Heinz ketchup. Here's the question on this, and we'll end it with this right here. Thank but it, it, 20 years ago, the number one thing wasn't an iPhone because they didn't have them. What was the number one item? To determine if you were rich, a laptop. Mm. That's a good answer. Twenty I, I, years. That would have been pretty good around that ago. one. It's something to go on food. Grape Poupon. Grape Poupon. Uh, <laughs> 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 you are a winner today. Wayne's World. Wayne's World. <laughs>
<laughs> did you have some in your refrigerator? Yes, I do. Uh, I, I love mustard. I mean, Excuse I all me, kinds sir, of do you have mustard, any grape so. pecan? Well, yeah. He wins a case of me, too. <laughs> yes, he does. Yeah, yeah, really. I can use that with my grape pecan. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow we'll talk about <laughs> the, just, We're going to have a Vienna sausage eating contest up here. We eventually yeah. one day. Uh, so I've been trying to find out what the world record for that is. Huh. You ain't going to say well, 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 it's going to be too grand champion today. Y'all hang on. Oh, my. Joey Chestnut is. on this what is today today is Wednesday Wednesday morning 74 degrees out there get out and do what you need to today we do have rain in the forecast of course you know how that goes there's rain in the forecast every day this week and that's either a 40 to 50 to 60 percent chance of rain these are just going to be scattered throughout the valley too so don't let it ruin air absolutely everything if you want to tell you hometown lenders if you're looking for a local local place to refinance your home or to buy a new home or even a new construction loan, you can go to savewithgloria.com, fill out a simple form, and we'll get you on track, get you started. Do you want to say uh, good morning to Mr. Uh, Charlie that I spoke to yesterday? We got him started, and he's up and getting ready, and even you're pre-qualified. You can get pre-qualified before and that way you quicker. know what you can purchase. And if you're a realtor out there, you can close in less than 30 days. Get your money quicker. Almost, I guess it's guaranteed that they'll do mm -hmm. everything works out. All right, let's talk about that command. Is, what kind of award did you win this time? <laughs> I didn't win an award. I just won a trip. Won a trip. Well, that's an award. Because he's good. <laughs> that's, a, that, that's an award. You say you've been with us three years now? Yeah. Oh, I just God. went over five years with country uh, in June. So. That's great. So I can't believe like it. number one agent. It's gone by fast. Yeah, I'm not their number one agent. I'm just, we, think you you we think you are. We think you are. I do pretty good, but I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm in the top five. You, can't be. you get new people calling you all, all, all every day? Yes, sir. But There's luckily, we got a lot of good people that refer people. So I mean, I get we get a lot of referrals, and plus, of course, you know they watch Tammy Cooper show, so they uh, they will call in. And if you do call in and refer someone, get make sure you movies. tell Laura or Brooke, you know your name and stuff, so we can get you a movie ticket sent to you. Great. Nice. Hey, that new Jurassic Park movie we've been wanting to see. Yeah. We're gonna go see it. Yeah, when we get back from vacation, we'll go see it and go to the Hunt Club. Yes. Mm, What'd you eat there last night? Man, I had the one that ain't on the menu. Yeah, that, the brisket bacon burger. Is that what I had? It's, the other it's day? awesome. Yeah, it is. Well, let's so talk good. about you, Joe. Let's go back to the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Zach was talking today about his sister. Her her insurance just doubled, basically. And does that happen quite often for folks? Well, I mean, sometimes it depends on, you know, like, uh, she, we, I haven't been able to run anything yet, but I'm going to be working on that today. But she's an early example. I mean, if you have an at-fault accident, sometimes so. it's not supposed to go up that much. I mean, you know, depending on the amount, we, you'll have a surcharge. But, I mean, usually if it's under a certain amount, it's only like $20 a month for uh, two, mm -hmm. three six-month terms. But now if it's over, a, you know, if it's a large amount, it still shouldn't go up, you know, maybe 30 40 you, sit there, you don't guarantee everybody can save money, but most times you can. You just go over their policy with them, whether it's a farm, business, or uh, sometimes you handle all their stuff. Right. Yeah, well, the uh, more you handle, you get discounts. Yeah, the, yeah you, the more stuff you have with us, the more discounts. Nah, yeah, that's, you know, because you know, you, you, <laughs> if you have you your auto and your home, you get a really good discount for your home. Mm -hmm. I mean, in some cases, we've been working quotes here lately. Um, you know, one home is a new one, and they didn't really want to move their autos yet. Well. <laughs> I mean, they say five hundred dollars by moving their auto, so they were like, "Ah, yeah, that's oh, yeah. that's worth it." You know, so I mean, mm -hmm. you get a, a mm -hmm. substantial discount on your car, your home. If you have life, it's another discount. Right. Financials, whatever. Let me share with y'all a quick story about how on the spot this man is. We sold a townhouse <laughs> recently to a couple from Rhode Island. Yeah. Well, they didn't know nobody. Wow. Nobody. They had a kid that lives in Franklin, Tennessee, and one that lives in Newmark, and they want to be close to the interstate. They're going to live there part time. 
So he might, I said, no, you got the insurance? He said, no, we just, they just bought the place. This is the same day. And I said, uh, well, let me call our insurance company. So I called David. He, they'd already knew about you. You had cost. Well, I called him. He said, well, I'll be there in a minute. Sure enough, in five minutes, he's walking through the door, <laughs> signs them up, wow. shows up for the closing, <laughs> yeah. signs them up on whatever they had. And, that, you know, they That's recommend service. that for everybody, but in That's most service. cases, yes. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm very accessible. So, I mean, you know, when I give you my card, it's he got my cell number on it. will be there. Hey, that's personal <laughs> service. I mean, we, you know, we try to Important. do the best job we can for you. Young fruit. Try to uh, USA Today this morning, they're talking <laughs> about death on foot. This is like the lead story on USA Today. Pedestrian fatalities, people walking, have risen 46% since 09. Because they're on the phone? Deaths by vehicles only up 11%. And here's the reason. Thanks. Since in six years, from 2010 to 2016, people using cell phones while driving increased 236 mm. wow. percent. So Christ. you're saying that it's more people are hitting people? Yeah, they're texting, not yeah. looking. They run over somebody. I was thinking you meant they were texting yeah. and they walk out. Of the it's it. both, basically. Okay. It's both, but it's mainly somebody not paying attention as they're driving. Hey, I mm. I see it all the time. I almost got hit three times within the last two weeks because somebody's texting. Wow. I was coming up on a person. They almost ran over onto me, and I, oh, I was so mad. Mm. And then uh, a guy coming directly down. Uh, Clinton Street, all of a sudden, he just coming right at me. Sure. I, mean, I thought he was going to hit me head on. Well, and he was like, he's looking at, he's not even looking at the road. Man. Well, here's the, here's the question. If it is your fault in a wreck and you are admit to or they say you were texting, what don't does that Don't they automatically for check your phone? Well, I mean, I thing? doubt they're going to admit to it. I mean, right. Don't they automatically check? If it's a bad wreck like that, I thought they I would hope they would. I mean, they need they to get a ticket, but I doubt yeah. they would. I mean, it's very hard to prove that unless you just absolutely see it. A cop sees it. But. There was a huge, major traffic fatality. I forgot what state that was in. Uh, oh, that was horrible. But, and the, guy, the guy was released. The guy that drew, had to, he was in an F-150 or some pickup truck. Caused Company the vehicle. Went over the causeway. Hit a guy. Doesn't say if no alcohol was involved as far as I know because they released this guy. Spun this guy out. He had his seatbelt out, so he didn't get hurt. Hits a... Vehicle. I don't know if it's a minivan or what. A man driving, 61 years old, killed him. His wife was asleep, hmm. saved her, killed their four daughters who were not wearing a seatbelt. That just happened this past week. Wow, that's sad. That's He's the terrible. guy that hit him. Went, went a tractor trailer. It was just a pickup. What? I don't know. He might have been texting because they said he went over into the other lane. Hmm. Well, I know. I, every time it seems like every time we go riding now, if I'm on my bike. I see mm -hmm. just about 80% of the people that I pass are on their phone. I even yeah. seen a, de a guy driving you know a truck. Means? Yeah, you know I mean, what that means when you when you're on your motorcycle and. Oh yeah, well yeah, you wave, you know. <laughs> but I mean, I usually go stop texting. You know, I'll be pointing at them. You know, but. Well, I guess me two people walking on the sidewalk or whatever. Nobody ever looks anymore. Right. They're listening to something on their phone. Yeah. It's no wonder you get run over. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Or get, you know, accosted or, you know, uh, somebody robbing you or something. Well, don't I mean, ever just you, cut through Walmart. Nobody's just to trying to accost me lot. lately. Nobody looks. They just <laughs> go straight out. Oh, no. There's, we have the mm -hmm. last four wrecks that we've had uh, claims for has been at Walmart. People just backing into each other. Oh man! And I'm, I'm like, okay, go you gotta watch. You, you gotta look every line? direction. Yes. Look again. Look three or four times yeah, before you back out. There. Okay, that's a good. That's a good question. What if you do have a wreck in Walmart? Does well, the city come up and write that up because it's on private property? No. But well, the, how do you know? Sometimes you don't. Who's fault it sometimes is? everybody just has to file their own insurance. You know, uh, uh, mm, I didn't know it's that. not good. I mean, you and the thing is, if people would just. Pay slow attention down. a little bit more. Slow down. Get up earlier. You know, if you've got to be somewhere, get up earlier so you don't have to rush to get there. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, when you're driving down the road, the right lane is for people driving. The left lane is for people to pass. 
It's not like that anymore. You don't you got, you got as many today. people Thomas in the left range and the right range. You don't get road rage. No, nothing yeah. like my this brother does. Say is <laughs> I mean, but, but now, <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to make. One you know, other question here. <laughs> be considerate to your other people. Calm Let down, people calm down, in. Calm man. Uh, <laughs> uh, we just got a new windshield. Uh, yes. And thank you. I mean, that's like the second or third one. My buck next neighbor yeah. said he had a Range Rover. We had put four in it because, you know, they're kind of just flat. Right. Mm -hmm. But the guy's done an excellent job on everything. What all can you get, like, full coverage for tire blowing out, windshield replacement? And that doesn't cost that much more to get all that stuff. No, the safety glass, I mean, you need to add that, and it's not, I don't know, I think it's like $6 every 12, uh, $6 every six months. And if you, I mean, a lot of people now have high deductibles, you know, to keep your premium down. So mm -hmm. if your deductible's 500 or $1,000, you know, uh, windshields anywhere from 250 to $500, depending on the vehicle, you're going to pay that out of pocket. So you just add that safety glass coverage, and you get a little ding or whatever, they got to come out and replace your windshield, it don't cost anything. So we, we add that to a lot yeah, of, a lot of people. I got a cracked windshield right now on my Mustang. So irritating. It's going to be like 300 bucks to replace it. Hey, I got like, exactly. I was cracking so bad. <laughs> it was like two different places. It was just running it. Oh, it's yeah. Mine's run. Like it's about halfway. Time. It's not in my viewing. viewing but area. I tell you what, because but of my. Uh, you the get last, a ticket if it's in your The last time, I, the last time I got caught speeding in Orange Beach trying to get the church over there at Floor Battle. True story. I think I took. They One stopped night. me. I've Man, this that. guy was. Get back in the truck. You know, I always have to get out. Say, hey, you know, most people don't. He did. Yeah, you don't need to do that. Sir, now. I told you to get back in the truck. I said, yes, sir. Oh, man, be tasing you. Oh, you're gonna get shot. Get guy, in the truck. Don't tase me, bro. The jap yeah. sat me right there on the, you know, on the sand uh, where I was. But I was speeding. You know, I just topped the bridge there at Perdido Pass, trying church to get to the church was starting. We were late. Yeah, I was trying to get there. I was trying to get to church. <laughs> You know, should have got up earlier and you exactly, had to be rushing. See? Well, I didn't leave Fort Moore until 8.25. <laughs> I'm trying to get somewhere. It takes 45 minutes to drive in 20. So anyway, he comes Case back point. after I give him my license. True story. I think I may have shared this because it, it's good. It makes me look real good. Oh, he comes man. back. He says, Mr. Cooper, I just want to apologize for you. I'm not even going to give you a ticket or a, a, well, a he warning. Gave me a warning. No. After looking at your driver's record. Record. And seeing that you've got insurance for country financial. <laughs> <laughs> You're a smart man. Yeah, that, that, uh, that's pretty what, good. What's happening? Uh, uh, I've had a couple of auditions lately, but uh, you know, you just you just sit and wait. Well, it's hard. You're getting older now. You know, well, they keep, yeah. they, they keep it's increasing. That distinguished look. They're looking yeah, I guess so. Uh, um, I am starting to see a little bit more gray on the sides now. Uh, uh, proud you, of you got a ways to go. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Uh, proud of old Kale. He's been working lately. I don't know he, if y'all saw on Facebook. He did a little short film over in Decatur recently oh, really? or Faultville. And uh, he's excited about uh, sharing that when it comes out. So What sitcom was were you watching that he was sitting in the background? Oh, that Chris, was, wasn't uh, it? Chris, he knows, knows best. best. Yeah, okay. sitting there eating some popcorn. Uh, well, he loved eating. And man. I was like, no, look at there. I said, there's Kale in the background. So we backed it up and <laughs> no, stopped it. Sure you were eating popcorn. Yeah, I was eating popcorn. No, what was funny about that story, he was up there filming a short film. Talk about Kale Abernathy. Yeah, and, and they had about a, I don't know, a half a day, like three or four hour break. They're talking about because he's in insurance business. Okay. <laughs> and uh, he had a break. Well, he got on his phone during the break, and it said, uh, hey, if you short notice, if you can be at this particular place, downtown Nashville, in one hour, there's an opportunity to be a background extra on this he show. Just happened to be there. He didn't know what show it was, and so he was there. He replied right quick and said, "I can." They they called him. He goes a few blocks down the road, goes in in the clothes I think he had on that he had wore to Nashville, filmed that episode, went back to his other short film. Oh, so I was like, dude, that's first of all, that's how does great. a show like yeah, Chris that guy yeah. make it? Lucky like, to be I mean, the right he, place the guy's been bankrupt and everything, yeah. and he's still. I don't know. Well, Carissa likes watching it. It's it's too scripted now. To yeah, yeah. That's why you need to watch a program like, like this. Real television. There's never Real TV. Yeah. Oh, you no never know what's going to happen. Here. No. You get me, P, oh, me, P2. Me, P2. Yeah, nothing fake here. Yeah, really. Oh, no. <laughs> See, what, what Joseph wanted me to come up with. Not scripted, me, Joseph. If we could just say you could pee in a bottle and then put a little peel in it and then shake disgusting. it and there you go. Yeah, I don't know about that. You need to do a little more filtering than that. Yeah. Yeah, really. <laughs> we'll take a break. Hey, when we come back, we're going to run something. That's uh, from, I've been going through a bunch of old stuff. We're going to have a real exclusive coming up here before long. I got some, I got some people that are going to volunteer.
Okay. I'm, I'm nervous. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I am. I already too. measured you. Yeah, I just, but I already said I'm not one of those. We measured Zach. He's perfect for it. <laughs> so we'll come back. We'll, we'll, we'll go through some old tapes. And we're going to run some video when we come back. But 1999, I think. So a lot of this is our first program we did as Cooper and Company in the Shoals area. Oh, and you know, our first, we did a two hour show. It's like, kind of like it was like the Today Show. It was that good. Not that this one's not. But it was a little bit more <laughs> oh, boy. You know who our first guest was? George Goober Lindsay. He's on it. He's on he it. He wasn't on the first show, but he and Ernest Borgnine are in this episode about the show. They weren't on the first one, but I think that was like the second or third mm -hmm. one. Gary Baker. Gary Baker. Remember him? Singer? I swear. Wrote I swear. Yes. He comes he in. We, we had such a big interest. We, we drove a limousine in every day. It had to get out here written on the wall. Yeah. Oh, I've never seen some of that. Well, you'll see yeah, it next. Oh. Y'all, hang on. <laughs> Mr. Gary Baker arriving over here right now. Good morning. All right. Walk over this way, Gary. We can get you in. You know, you're our first official guest to come in. I'm, I'm grateful for that. Hey, we wanted to go to the big dog first. Hey, there you go. <laughs> I don't think it gets any better than this. Mr. Gary Baker wrote I Swear back a couple years ago, one of those popular songs in history. That's, well, yeah, it's done very well. Pretty you know, good. One thing I need to uh, get with you on is, you know, I swear, it's kind of, you know, get out of here is only three words, too. I mean, you think you might be able to come up with something kind of like that? To... A little more sophisticated? Yeah, yeah, I need something to, something to, you know, get things going real well here. I'm doing great. Good. Doing nice to see you again. I, Pleasure I, to be here. I'm just so glad to have you. I'll go way back with Jack Boys before Alabama. And now, here he is, the one and only, the great one himself, the Swami. Oh. <laughs> in many moons, in many worlds, I am the amazing Swami. 
Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Jamie. I thought you only came out during football season. Jamie, I flew in for Chicago last night just to be with you and Gloria and Rick Thompson. Can I say something to Rick Thompson? No. That's going to be right around Swami. Now, Swami, the final four is coming up. I see it. It's today. All right. What are your predictions? Oh, I, I see a vision, Jamie. I see a vision coming in my mind. I see a vision of your mind. I see Connecticut. I see the Huskies. Oh, I see the Huskies win the day over all oh, the Saturn is tearing in my mind. The Coyotes are howling. I see, I see Connecticut winning over Ohio. Mayor Frost and I go way back. Mayor Frost, thanks so much for coming this morning. Good to be here. I tell you, Jamie comes to town and he's turned the swami into a penguin. You know, he's, <laughs> when you got, you got our new sportsman, Keith got Davis, over there. Any, anyone that can turn the swami into a penguin can work miracles. And, uh, you know, Mayor, we go way back. We started, uh, I hate to say this, but back about 1963 when I was in junior high school, that was about your first coaching job, wasn't it? Yeah, that, I don't like to remember that far back. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you. He just, right, he just moved the sand. Well, Rule 23 states that you cannot touch the sand with your with your hands or with your golf club. So, okay. so he got them. So he was in violation of that of that rule. And you know, and get this kitchen aid 36 inch uh, gas cooktop. I think Matt was uh, Matthew would definitely agree. You guarantee uh, there's no better. It has wonderful even heat. I mean, there's no better. You guarantee that I can cook like this if I get one of these. It's going to be hard to beat Matthew. <laughs> I don't know if Tony's going to play us out here. Just here we go. Hey, the LE. It's the uh, LE, LE series. It's a uh, step down from the SS series. It's the entry level boat. Uh, Swing. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. 